The interior of Alaska is cold in the winter, and so is the air. Florida is hot near the ocean, and you will find warm, wet air in Florida. Arizona is hot and dry, and so is the air. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Air Masses. An air mass is a large mass of air that has the same conditions throughout. For example, an air mass over Alaska in the winter will most likely be cold and dry. An air mass over Florida will be warm and moist. For an air mass to form, the air must stay over the area long enough to pick up the characteristics of the area. Many air masses form over cold areas called polar regions or warm tropical areas. In addition, air masses will form over oceans and be very moist. An air mass that forms over the ocean are called maritime. Air masses also form over continents. These air masses are dry and are called continental air masses. Remember, an air mass must, will take on the conditions of where they are formed. Let's take a look at many of the air masses found on Earth. A maritime tropical air mass is warm and moist. A maritime equatorial air mass will be hot and moist. A maritime polar, cold and moist. Remember, maritime are formed of the ocean. A continental tropical air mass will be warm and dry. A continental polar, cold and dry. And a continental Arctic and Antarctic, very cold and dry. Remember, continental form over continents. When an air mass moves over a region of the Earth, the area's temperature and humidity may change along with the weather. So what causes the air mass to move? Winds and the jet stream help move these air masses. Cold air masses tend to move towards the equator and warm air masses tend to move towards the poles. The Coriolis effect also contributes to the movement of air masses. In the United States, many air masses will move towards the northeast due to the Coriolis effect. Thanks for watching and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.